how to download and install mods for The Sims 4 on Mac. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily download and install mods for The Sims 4 on your Mac, Mac Mini, MacBook, anything running Mac OS. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So to get started, we need to download mods for The Sims 4. And to do that, I'm just going to open up a browser and navigate to thesimsresource.com. Check the description, I'll have a direct link down there. TheSimsResource.com is one of the most well-known mod websites for The Sims 4. Once you get to TheSimsResource.com, you can scroll through the available mods. I'm just gonna go to Categories and then select The Sims 4, and this will show me all the mods for The Sims 4. Once you're here, just find the mod you wanna download and select it. And then on that specific mod website, you'll see the creator, and everything right under that, you wanna select download. Be careful where you select because there are many ads on this website that may say download. So you just wanna make sure you select the correct download button. Once you do that, it'll open up a new page where it will count down. And once it's done, you'll see your download is ready to go. Go ahead and select download one more time. And if it's your first time downloading a mod from this website, go ahead and select allow. And then you'll see the download show up in the downloads folder in the bottom menu of your Mac. Open that up and select open in finder. You'll then see the mod right there that we downloaded and it'll have dot package at the end of it. If it's in a folder or a zip file, all you need to do is open up that folder or unzip the file and then you should see the dot package files right there. Now there's a couple different steps we need to take with this to add this to The Sims 4. So what I recommend doing is going down to the bottom menu, right clicking finder and select new finder window. Once you do that, Select documents in the left side right here, and then you should see electronic arts. Select electronic arts, then the Sims 4, and then within here, find and select the folder labeled mods. So now what we need to do is go back to the downloads folder and drag the mod that we downloaded into the mods folder. If the mod was in a folder, you wanna open the folder and drag all the files out of that folder into the mods folder under the Sims 4. Same thing if it was a zip, you wanna unzip it and then drag the mod into the mods folder. Once we have it in the mods folder, we can go ahead and open up The Sims 4. And when The Sims 4 opens up, there's two neat things we need to do. First, you'll see custom content here. We need to go ahead and select the check mark at the bottom to select OK. And then after that, go up to the top right, select the three dots, and then go to game options. After that, in the left menu of game options, select other. And you just wanna make sure that you have enable custom content and mods right here checked. Once it's checked, go ahead and select apply changes. And then now when you go in and play The Sims 4, that mod will be included in The Sims 4. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.